All right, I'll try to make this quick. Uh, I had the scanner hooked up to charge it, and I figured why not look at my live data. Uh, this here is a 97 Chevrolet K2500 four-wheel drive Suburban, 6.5 liter diesel, uh, GM8 turbo. Uh, has a 4L80E transmission. I don't know what transfer case it is, mechanical. Uh, as you notice, that plug laying there. Uh, normally it will go to your throttle sensor. Uh, this truck had DS4 injection. I have successfully converted it to DB2, uh, Rosa Master Stand and Dime Pump. Uh, I'll show under the hood. I just tossed the DS4 injection pump in the trash can pretty much. Auto cable went to the firewall. Uh, you can see back here, the, I left the plug on there, we still have temperature sender and we still have crankshaft positioning. Needs a little bit of paint work, we're working on it. Just bought a D8 sander. The uh, reason I was making this video is to show that it, the PCM still will shift the transmission. Uh, of course, you know, it's looking for the throttle sensor and has other codes. It's upset because injection pump's missing. It can't control timing. It doesn't know why the engine's running away when I give it fuel because it's not it's not in control anymore. Uh, so we still have a uh, crank position sensor. So we still have an RPM reference. We still have a coolant reference, uh, which matters for some reason. Uh, the problem I was going to show it will work and still shift it pretty much shifts like a vacuum modulator disconnected that shifts uh, firm for a reason I'll show here in a minute uh, turbine speed huh. I didn't know it gives us that huh. wastegate boost I don't have that hook up all that's missing uh, somewhere here there's a uh, looking for a shift calculator so, uh, blah, blah. P angle engine torque here we go I'll highlight it okay it thinks right now that we have 168 foot-pound load as I throttle up it drops to two we're turning that tax a little off that was nowhere near three but anyway uh, it thinks that you know as you toddle up it thinks there's less of a load which in turn reflects upon your line pressure which will cause slippage so in order to get around that what I ended up doing was uh, it's everything's a common uh, hot Every, the computer grounds everything so everything's on a common hot on the transmission so the line pressure control solenoid was defaulting open uh, with power. Generally, when you lose power to the transmission, everything, all the solenoids default to off, and the line pressure pulse modulated control solenoid defaults wide open so you can have full line pressure so you can limp home in second gear. Because uh, A and B off is second. A on first, uh, A and B off uh, second, uh, B on third, A and B's overdrive. Uh, uh, Turbo Hydromatic 4L ADE. Uh, what I was getting to is it still will shift. I'll show that. Let me buckle up here. It's fixing to pull onto a state road. And with my luck, the cop will get me, but it still will shift. And in order to get it to shift firm, I nipped the purple and light blue wire, I believe, which control the high and low limit on that pulse solenoid switch. I got a generator in the back rattling around, which you can hear the air cleaners come loose. Light on to the root here and I'll show it. Shifts fine. Uh, but like I said, it shifts like as if you have a vacuum modulator disconnected or something. It shifts late and firm. Instant shift kit. Still spend $500, I got it right here. It does have a downside though. 
like say I wanted to cruise right here at 45, I'd stay at 2300 RPM. It would never shift into overdrive. It's in direct right now in third. I have to accelerate a little faster. Oh, there we go. We got overdrive now. It'll lock up here shortly. I should get a little quicker. Apologize for, there we go, got lock up. Dropped another three, 400 RPM. But uh, this setup actually works pretty nicely. Uh, I didn't have to spend no five, six hundred thousand bucks on a shift controller. I probably will eventually when I start towing. That way we don't mess up any sprags or anything in there. Uh, but I just thought I'd let y'all know if you had to drive it, like I've been driving for the past six months, uh, it'll run without a without a transmission controller. It'll the PCM will still shift, but you need to hook up your crank position and your engine temperature sender. And I think the reason that it will not shift into overdrive without the temperature sending unit is because if you have too many trouble codes, it goes into limp mode and it doesn't know what's going on, I guess, so it locks you out of overdrive to prevent uh, too much temperature, too much heat from getting in the radiator because these have cooling issues as it is. Or they say they do. I've never had one overheat. I've actually had very good luck with these diesels. I, you just have to understand them. And we're in overdrive. Locked up. Alright, y'all have a good one.